All right, well, our next guest is a familiar face that you'll recognize from her time at Access Hollywood. But this multifaceted journalist, host, and philanthropist has now added executive producer to her resume. Let's welcome Detroit native Sean Robinson to the show. Thank you so much for being back on Live in the D. It's good to see you. Uh, hi, Tati. Good to see you guys. Uh, uh, you all are having a lot of fun, and I know my mom <laughs> is tuning in. So, hi, Mom. Oh, that's How are you so doing? wonderful. <laughs> hi, Sean's mom. <laughs> all right, well, you have a new project where you're the executive producer, which we'll talk about more in just a moment. But first, mm -hmm. tell us about the upcoming movie, Greed. Yes, so um, I joined you last year because I told you about my my new hat, an additional hat, as an executive producer of the Seven Deadly Sins movie series on Lifetime. So last year, we sent you greed, and I'm sorry, we, last year, we gave you lust and envy. Now this year, I'm giving you wrath and greed. So these are the third and fourth movies in the Seven Deadly Sins series. So gr wrath aired last Saturday. This Saturday, it is greed at 8 o'clock on Lifetime. So I'm a, an executive producer along with Bishop T.D. Jakes, who is an amazing partner. And so, yeah, I'm excited to bring you these new movies. All right. So what inspired you to take your skills behind the camera and executive produce these projects? Well, you know, I am into just diversifying as we all should be. So, of course, I continue my on-camera work, but off-camera, uh, going behind the scenes, being an executive producer was just a, a natural next step for me because I know after 16 years on Access Hollywood, I know all of the facets that it takes to put a show together. And so I took those skills and applied them to movies. And so we uh, we we're, we're just got the ratings in for Wrath, and it did pretty well. So I'm very, very excited. And, you know, Tati, these are... These are uh, morality tales, yes. you know, but it's not preaching at you in terms of beating you over the head. So I just, I just got to say last Saturday, we had Michelle Williams, we had Tina Lawson Knowles, we had Romeo Miller, all of them were fantastic in wrath. This Saturday, we've got Monique Coleman, you remember her from High School Musical fame. We got Lisa Ray McCoy, who is on fire in this movie. And we got Eric Benet, who is fantastic. I was so surprised at Eric's acting skills. I mean, he is great. So we've got a wonderful, wonderful cast for the movies coming up this, uh, this Saturday. And, oh, you get to watch a repeat of Wrath at 6 o'clock on Lifetime and then 8 o'clock we have the world premiere of Greed. So very I'm just exciting. very, very excited. Well, let me ask you this. There are these huge names in these movies. Now, what mm -hmm. is it like for you going from interviewing these people to now executive, executive producing a project um, that they're well, on? What was that like for you? It, yeah, good question, because I have a long-standing relationship with many of these people. I've interviewed them on the red carpet, been on the set with them. And so it was a natural relationship, and it was... It was wonderful for them to get to see me in this different role because now as an executive producer, I'm one of the people in charge of the production. So that was a, it was a different hat for me, but it was a natural relationship because I have uh, just a longstanding relationship right. with a lot of the people that are in the movie. So it's, right. it's really exciting. That is exciting, and I can't wait to see both of the movies. But now, really quickly, because we're just about out of, out, of, out of time, you keep very strong ties to Detroit. What's your favorite thing to do when you come home? Sure. Well, let's see. I always go, uh, let's see, with mom, my girl, Allison. We go downtown a lot. Um, we do, what is, uh, oh gosh, what is the restaurant? Uh, well, um, on the on the waterfront, uh, Andiamo. Yes, Andiamo. yes. I, I that's that restaurant is so good. I just love it. But also, we got to go, yes. you know, of course, we go to Greek Town. We go to... Uh, Belle Isle. I remember just like cruising Belle Isle <laughs> when I, <laughs> I was there, just cruising Belle Isle, going around the island about 20 times. Uh, I do that. And just, you know, I just love being there. I love seeing all the, there's a vegan restaurant. There's a really good vegan restaurant. Oh, I can't. Detroit oh, Vegan Soul? Yes, Detroit yes. Vegan Soul. Yes. So good. 
Yeah. And so food. I love seeing. Oh, and also Hudson Cafe. Shout out mm-hmm. to Tom at Hudson Cafe. Yeah. Love eating breakfast well, there. We know so. we, you can't go yeah, as hungry you can see, in Detroit. When I come back. Yeah, you can't right. go hungry in Detroit. I, I go eat all the time. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, Sean, thank you so much for being with us. And my co-host, Jason Carr, says hello. So I had to pass Hi, on Jason. that message. <laughs> thank you so Hi. much.